Here we're going to talk about the sum and difference identities for sine and cosine. You can get the analogous ones for tangent just by taking the one for sine and dividing by the corresponding one for cosine. Okay, so tangent of alpha, by alpha minus beta would be this identity divided by this identity. Okay, t take a moment while you copy these down and then we'll use them to solve problems. Press pause while you're copying. Okay, to solve this one, what we want to do is we want to express 75 degrees as a combination of the angles that we know. The angles that we know are 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. Okay, these are the angles for which uh, the trig functions are memorized. We see that if we have 30 degrees and we add 45 degrees, we get 75 degrees. So we're going to express 75 degrees in that way. So cosine of 75 degrees is the cosine of 30 degrees plus 45 degrees. Okay, so to evaluate this, what we're going to do is use the second identity here and expand it. So cosine of alpha plus beta. Alpha in this case is 30 degrees. Beta in this case is 45 degrees. So this is equal to cosine of alpha times cosine of beta. So cosine of 30 degrees times cosine of 45 degrees. Minus sine of alpha, sine of beta. So sine of the first, sine of the second. Sine of 30 degrees, sine of 45 degrees. And now we have each of these individual ones memorized. We know that the cosine of 30 degrees is the square root of 3 divided by 2. The cosine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 divided by 2. Okay, this is multiplication. Minus the sine of 30 degrees, which is 1 half, times the sine of 45 degrees, which is the square root of 2 over 2. So then we just do this simple arithmetic here. So square root of 3 times square root of 2 is the square root of 6, divided by 2 times 2, which is 4, minus 1 times the square root of 2, which is the square root of 2, divided by 2 times 2, which is 4. So this ends up being the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2, divided by 4. So this is what the cosine of 75 degrees equals. Okay, why don't you press pause while you work on this example. Okay, so once again, the angles that we have to work with are 30, 45, 60, and 90. So we have to figure out how to combine two of these to get 15. 15 degrees is equal to 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. So that's how we're going to rewrite this. And then we're going to use the difference identity for sine to expand this. So for sine, we take sine of the first times cosine of the second. So sine of 45 degrees, cosine of 30 degrees. Again, we're using the, the difference identity for sine, and that's why we're using the third one. Minus sine of the second, cosine of the first. So minus sine of the second, cosine, of the first. Okay, that's a 45. So the sine of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2. The cosine of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2. Sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. Uh, cosine of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2. So here we get root 6 over 4 minus root 2 over 4 and this is equal to the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 divided by 4. Okay, why don't you press pause while you work on this example. Okay, in radian, in radian units of measure, the common angles that we have to work with are pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, and pi over 2. So we need to figure out how to choose two of these and combine them to get pi over 12. If we take pi over 3 minus pi over 4, that's what we get. So to do the subtraction, we need a common denominator. 
that's going to be 3 times 4, which is 12. So in this, we need a 4 in the numerator and denominator. In this, we need to multiply by 3. So then we get 4 pi over 12 minus 3 pi over 12, and that's equal to pi over 12. Okay, so pi over 3 minus pi over 4 is how we're going to rewrite this. Okay, so we're using the difference identity for cosine. So what we do is we take the cosine of the first times the cosine of the second. And for the cosine identity, the sine reverses. So instead of having minus, we're going to have plus sine of the first, sine of the second. Okay, cosine of pi over 3, that's equal to 1 half. Cosine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. Sine of pi over 3 is root 3 over 2. And sine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. So we have 1 times root 2, which is root 2 divided by 4, plus root 6 divided by 2 times 2, which is 4. So that means that the cosine of pi over 12 is root 2 plus root 6 divided by 4.